This meeting of the Newark School Board's called to order at 635, <coughs> February 13th, 2017. Please call the roll. Okay, Ms. Nickham? Here. Mr. Bowers? Here. Mr. Carr? Here. Mr. Weber? Here. And Mr. Barn? Here. All present. Mr. Weber, would you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Resolutions and recognitions. Okay, we do have uh, this board member recognition month here from Ohio School Board Association. And I know that uh, I speak on behalf of 6,400 students and 800 staff members. And uh, hopefully I, I know from comments from the community, uh, they recognize the leadership that our board has given the district continues and uh, it's a very positive feel about what our board members are doing. It's a tough job. I always say it's the toughest job in the district uh, to play. So we really appreciate that. So Barbara has uh, just a, a, a little, uh, you're going to sing a song, Barbara? Or no, I just wasn't sure. <laughs> I wasn't no. sure. Barbara's going to uh, you know, call you up and, and give you a certificate and appreciation of, of uh, what you do for the, not just the school district, but the community. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Um, Tom Lang. Thank you. Tim Carr. and the folks that we work with are pretty wonderful as well. So, um, that said, communication <coughs> from the floor. You have up to five minutes to speak. Seeing none, we'll move on to the treasurer's recommendations. Okay, as you, as you can see, uh, Jeff is under the weather, so bear with me on this note taken. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a backup though. We got the, the camera this time. So uh, um, I would just ask uh, ask you if you have any questions on Jeff's recommendations. I know he sent those out earlier, and you've had a chance to review them. If you have a question, we can call Jeff. No, okay. We'll entertain a motion. All right, make a motion to approve uh, Treasurer's Recommendations 2A to G. So, so second. Okay. Mike has moved, Tom has seconded. Any questions? Oh, uh, Tom moved, Mike second. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Just want to thank you to Granger McKinney for their donation and the match that it brings with it. Indeed. And um, I'll roll the roll, please. Okay, Ms. Nickham? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Blowers? Yes. And Mr. Bond? Yes. All right. Motion. It's approved. Uh, superintendent's recommendation. Okay, under personnel, a couple I'll mention. Uh, we have some retirements. Uh, Marilyn Clapp 
I was our head cook in the district. Uh, Marilyn's done a fantastic job. Uh, and yeah, it does it with a smile. And as you know, we do our food in one location and ship it out. So that's a big job. And Marilyn's done a wonderful job. So we appreciate uh, Marilyn and her efforts. She'll re be retiring here at the end of the month. Uh, another retirement I, uh, I would uh, bring up is uh, bus driver Peter Henry. And we appreciate Peter's uh, work with the, the students. Leave of absence, we have a few under that. A uh, few appointments and assignments, and I would uh, just put one in the, uh, Jim, Jim Land, uh, who's a retired school psychologist. Uh, you know that Henry left uh, two months ago, right now, and uh, Jim has filled in a few times since his retirement, and he's, he's back, and he's a wonderful gentleman that does a good job, so we appreciate Jim coming back to to help us out. Uh, a few supplemental contracts, Lee Hour, Natalie Knapper, and Michael Wheeler. Salary and position adjustments are on there, as well as tutors and uh, substitutes. And so I take a motion for items one through seven under curriculum. Motion. So moved. Set. Moved. Second. Mike. Any questions? <clears throat> the uh, psychologist is asked that. How many hours a week? Uh, up to as many as needed, right? Uh, right. You know. He's he's only going to be filling in for us at the high school. Okay. Um, the other psychs have all picked up um, the caseload for the other buildings um, that um, Dr. Green did. So he's just going to be doing the high school. So it could go in waves, but he's only really doing the initials um, for high school students or any students that perhaps they're concerned about changing categories because other re that are done are done by the intervention specialists. Okay. Thank you. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Yep. Mr. Bond? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Uh, Mr. Weber? Yes. Ms. Nickham? Yes. And Mr. Flowers. Yes. All right. Motion carries. Um, student and curriculum. Okay. We have uh, special education contracts with other districts, as well as a step-by-step -step academy on there. We have a public uh, announcement regarding Part B special education funds. I'll read that as we do every year. It's recommended the following announcement be made. The Newark City School Special Education Department will soon be applying for Part B grant monies for the 2017-2018 school year. These are federal funds used to support the education of students with disabilities for whom, for whom Newark City Schools is financially responsible. Each year the district collects inputs from parents, staff, and community members regarding the expenditure of these monies. If you have any ideas regarding the use of these funds, please send comments or requests by April 1st, 2017 to Melinda Vaughn, the electronic email at mvaughn at lacca.org or in written form to Newark City Schools, 621 Mount Vernon Road, Newark, Ohio, 43055. <coughs> we also have two out-of-state trips, uh, the Washington, D.C. trip uh, for our eighth graders will be on March 20th through the 23rd. And we did receive uh, the funds from the Mitchell uh, account. And we certainly, in, in Lou Mitchell's memory, really appreciate what Lou and his family have done. It's, it's over $75,000 uh, to help with the fray expenses of this year. As you know, uh, you know that's an, uh, an amount and account that will be given to us every year. So we uh, really appreciate Lou. Uh, Lou had a passion for getting students out of Licking County, and uh, it certainly is working, you know, so we appreciate that. Our high school orchestra to New York City, that's supposed to be city, not sit, <coughs> March 15th through the 19th. Uh, item C, a monetary gift from the Energy Cooperative to purchase STEM shirts for Heritage Middle School in the amount of $500. Uh, we have a ton of a large amount of students participating in the STEM Fest uh, this year, which is exciting for us. So, items B and C. 
motion to approve those items. So, Bob? No, second. Any second? Any questions on those? Comments? Call the roll. Okay. Mr. Flowers? Yes. Ms. Nickham? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Bond? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. Regards to business. <coughs> under uh, under D, business item one, accept, acceptance of charging station, recommend the board accept the charging station for electronic devices for the use in Newark High School from First Federal Savings. So those will be put in the media center. And uh, so we appreciate First Federal Savings and their sponsorship of, of uh, that. Acceptance of bids. Recommend the Board of Education accept the bids for the project entitled Whitefield Renovation Phase 2 and awarding of the bids to Robertson Construction here in uh, Newark in the amount of $458,000. As you know, that's for primarily the ticket booth, the area behind the, the ticket booth, some drainage there, um, and then the east end, uh, moving the flagpole, the ramp, uh, and the uh, statue that's coming, which is really looking good. Uh, motion on section D, items one to three. Second. Dev? Yes. Mr. Carr? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. Mr. Bond? Yes. If you count the field. 504. 504. Any more questions? Mr. Vine? Yes. Mr. Flowers? Yes. Mr. Nickham? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. And Mr. Carr? Yes. <coughs> Legislative liaison report. No report. No report. Board discussion. Mr. Flowers. You are? I, I would like to uh, recognize the teachers and administrators who are taking it upon themselves to organize these wonderful out of state trips. It's a big job. And, and it, it's, uh, it's glad to see it. I'm glad to see uh, teachers willing to, to step up and, and do this sort of thing. Um, invaluable experience for, for our students. Uh, so there it is. Thank you very much to, to all the teachers involved. Yeah, in regard to the Washington trip, I'd just like to encourage parents to get around, try and do what you can to get your student to participate in the Washington trip. I know one of mine was the first year it started again and he went and they brought him back you know it is you know I've heard parents say uh, well it's 10 kids to one teacher it's well chaperoned it's well organized it's a very safe trip and I think every kid should see Washington DC you, know, you see it on the news you hear what's going on and it's a great opportunity to just go see where this happens um, the STEM Fest, I believe, is this weekend, isn't it? Correct. Next Saturday and Sunday. So good luck to our students that will be there. Um, something that this is sort of old news, but we haven't met since. Um, our football team for the second year in a row was recognized. I think there were one of 32 teams in the state that was recognized for their team GPA. And when you take, what, six or 700 teams in the state, we're one of 32 <coughs> to get recognized for our overall GPA. You know, that says quite a bit. Congratulations to those guys. Um, and also, we've got swimmers, the lady bowlers, both men or boys and girls basketball teams still going. Uh, 
get out and support our students. Good luck to all the teams involved. I know. I think, uh, this weekend I attended the uh, Ohio Association's board officer training, and uh, it was pretty good. They had three different sessions leading the government's team, uh, keeping it legal what board members or what board officers need to know in management of uh, policy matters. So uh, it's always good, I think, to get out and actually meet other uh, board members from different uh, schools. And I did talk to a lady. Uh, was a board member from uh, Raleigh, and, and I guess she is an MIT alum interviewer. And so I'm going to pass it on to you and, uh, and uh, think that if we have kids that are in that category and who maybe want to go to MIT, there's a person to contact. Mm -hmm. so. yeah, that's, that's about it. Better. Congratulations to Tim, our new board president, yeah. and Warren, our new vice president. It's exciting. And then a big time for the eighth graders. Not only do they have the Washington, D.C. trip, but this week they will be scheduling for the high school next year. So lots of great decisions to be made this week. Work with your parents, work with your teachers. They come up with some great decisions and um, stick in some great electives there. And then by all means, Please get involved with something at the high school next year also. It's not just about the classes at the high school, but also the different organizations you can participate in. But good luck in making those decisions. It's an exciting time to be an eighth grade cat. Um, you know, I, would, I would mention tonight, uh, uh, you know, we just have a lot of good things going on. As a couple have mentioned uh, before this, and Mike, you're right. So. You know from organizing those trips yourself it's a and I, I i've done the uh, dc trip for several years in the past and and the effort you put into that kind of stuff and i mean where's you at? and uh, so it's a lot extra on the staff and, and i know our middle schools have worked hard and the eighth graders look forward to that and that dc trip is a wonderful trip uh, for students and, and uh, adults to, to go on so we have we have trips going on we're having a, a lot of success uh, after three o'clock in the district, and not just success in the pool or in the, on the alley or whatever. Our students are supporting uh, our students really well, and that's neat to see, but it's kind of fueled by our community too. Our students enjoy you know, seeing those venues that we're, we're playing in, and, and so that's always wonderful. I like to just put a, a big plug in uh, Ms. Horgan and, and uh, the STEM group, who you know, uh, we call STEM Day, that kind of evolved last year. We do a couple of them, and we we're up to high school a couple weeks ago, and and uh, you know I suppose we had about 150 students maybe in there, uh, middle school and high school, uh, kind of displaying what they've been working on uh, from a STEM standpoint uh, that way, and, and watching our I just get a kick out of sixth grade sixth graders who present to twelfth graders with confidence and and those type of things, but. You know, it's always neat to watch and see what they've been working on, but watching our kids support each other, and there's 150 eyeballs, sets of eyeballs on the person talking. Uh, literally, we would probably have to have no staff in there and, and not worry about the kids from a disciplinary uh, standpoint. And, and uh, uh, so uh, it should, that's, that's great to see. That's what it's all about. And so, Ms. Morgan, thanks for your efforts with that and your staff. And, and uh, so... And, and then standing in there, uh, we'll get comments from community members that work in those fields. That, uh, you know, comments such as Newark has it going on with this. And I won't name any other communities, but uh, a set of parents that didn't belong. Uh, students do not go to Newark that said, you're way ahead of, and I'm not going to mention the other district or anything that way. Uh, uh, but uh, it's just nice to see. Hard work and the kids are the kids are teaching each other, learning things and learning learning uh, things of job skills, and uh, so it's great to see. So it's a great time to be a cat. A lot going on, a lot of positive things. Indeed, it is. I thought that this weekend, you know, just uh, being up uh, in Worthington, watching some basketball uh, for some younger kids, and and just realized I heard some great things about some of our other 
uh, teams and their other students and some things they're doing. It's a really great time to be a cat. Um, good start to the, the second semester. Um, kids are kind of digging in there about a month in now, so uh, that's good. Um, thanks for the gifts to those who uh, continue to give to support uh, New York City schools from our community and, and the businesses that are uh, uh, always, always helpful to our community. Um, neat stuff from the band and choir contest they had. Um, doing very well there. Um, certainly uh, the the basketball teams and the, you talk about the swimmers and all and the uh, the bowling team all doing well. Um, the reason they have ten chaperone or ten students for every chaperone with the DC trip. I went last year. It takes ten to carry the chaperones when they pass out, <laughs> and um, so that's why they take um, you know ten to one ratio because uh, you walk twelve and a half miles on day two, and and uh, most of us are not accustomed to such a thing. And um, but it was it was an incredible trip and uh, and, and wonderful to see um, and, and neat to see the kids uh, their eyes just light up as they see some of these things and they realize the stuff they've been reading about in books is now right in front of them and that's really cool for them to see and uh, it was a it was and um, what a phenomenal group of individuals it was from all three middle schools because we've crossed paths from time to time and. Um, and it was just, it was great to see what quality kids we have and that reflects on parents, it reflects on community, on our teachers and uh, indeed uh, it's a, it is a wonderful time uh, to be a part of the Newark City Schools. And um, with that, we'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Mike? Second. All right, please call the roll. Mr. Nickham? Yes. Mr. Blowers? Yes. Mr. Blind? Yes. Mr. Weber? Yes. And Mr. Carr? Yes. The meeting is adjourned at 6.57.